Hello there. Alright, as you can see, I really wasn't planning on doing this, but I just watched... I just watched three videos in a row about Trump's idiotic lawyers. The one that just... <laughs> in Scottsdale. Okay. Um, I am tired of hearing President Trump. He is not President Trump. Okay? He's Mr. Trump or Defendant Trump or Inmate Trump. But he's not President Trump. Okay? Ex-presidents, once they're out of office, are referred to as Mr., Mrs., or Miss. However, they were addressed before the presidency is how they are addressed. Once you're not president and you don't hold a seat in any kind of office, you're just a regular old citizen, Trump. Yeah. Mm hmm But not the average citizen because most of us don't have, what is it, four? What are we going to have? Indictments, you know, running from decades of um, crimes against businesses, people, the country, um, of every fashion between business and sex scandals and fraud and trying to usurp the government of the United States and become the king. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, he is not referred to as President Trump. I know his lawyers love to do that. I know little Marge and Lori Blobert and all the others like to say President Trump. But guess what? He's not. He's Mr. Trump, Defendant Trump, or Inmate Trump. Choose one of those because that's a lie. And when you hear them, and they're doing that to convince the people that still believe, yeah, President Trump, they're fooling you, people. Look it up. And let me tell you something else. Have you read the 14th Amendment? particularly Section 3, he cannot legitimately run for any position or seat in government because of what he did. It's very obvious, and they don't need to be convicted, even if they're accused of it. He cannot run legitimately. So my suggestion is what I've, I've already uh, voicemailed and um, emailed my representative, uh, Mikey Sherrill. Start, you know, you start from the bottom and start up. Because um, I know in 2020, New Jersey didn't want to put him on the, uh, citing that. Didn't want to put him on the, uh, the ballot. And I propose every state, you can change your... You, you decide. Your ballots are state decisions. And Article 14, Section 3, is very clear. He should not be running, regardless what the, um, the outcome of the trials, okay? If you read Article 14, or Amendment 14th Amendment, Section 3. Go look it up. He shouldn't be running. I suggest you contact your state rep, your representatives for your state, and um, suggest the same thing that we exclude Trump from the ballot because he's not a legitimate. And if they want to sue us for doing that, well, then we'll just sue the, him and the Republican Party for lying and putting on an illegal person candidate. So, you know, go for it. But anyway, peace out, guys.